I want to start with the Google car because you and I had a chance to drive around in it a few years ago, and I know you can't say too much about it, but, but, but give us an idea how it's going. The project is doing great. Uh, we're now driving about four or five years of human driving without any kind of incident. And very occasionally we have kind of a D on the highway that really freaks us out. But other than that, it, it drives better than a human driver. So when? When are these going to be on the road? Yeah, I wish when I had can a, I buy one? I wish I had an, an Oracle. Um, it turns out that there's enough technical problems that we don't feel quite confident yet to release it into the public. But Sergey Brin, who runs Google X, has publicly announced it's going to be less than five years. So, you know, let's talk a little bit about innovation yours. I mean, because you're a guy who, through Udacity, you have a wire into engineers and de designers and aspiring entrepreneurs, and you're also a big thinker. How good do you think the innovation is that we're seeing in the ecosystem? Are you disappointed in it, in that it's, it's too focused on social, mobile, local apps? Or do you think that entrepreneurs out there are thinking big enough? I'm actually really proud to be an American at this point. And uh, not every single innovative effort satisfies me, but there's a lot of great stuff going on, really moonshot thinking. If anything at all, I like to bring innovation back from the incremental work, like yet another social network, to world-changing ideas. Like, I talked uh, recently to Ed Liu, who's started a foundation to stop uh, asteroids from hitting the planet. And he can actually do it to, to defend the world from a possible asteroid attack. That sounds like a crazy idea. But like changing education, changing med the medical field, the medical sciences, uh, changing uh, transportation, um, these are actually really big things. And I'm really proud we can do them. So Elon Musk, who of course founded Tesla and SpaceX and PayPal, has this sort of way of making entrepreneurs feel like they're not thinking big enough. Do you disagree with him on that front? I think most of us aren't thinking big enough, I agree. And most of us aren't thinking logically. And this is Elon Musk's line, but he points out that there's first principle reasoning. And if you do first principle reasoning, there's no reason why, say, a college education should cost you $50,000. There's just no reason. There's no reason why you go to your doctor when the symptoms appear, even though you could monitor yourself a long time before the symptoms actually appear. There's so many things we can just change, and we should just change. Should entrepreneurs be focused not necessarily on the internet, but other industries? Industries like energy, like education, like space? I think so, absolutely. I mean, there's really big topics in the world that require our attention, really big things we can solve. And what you find is the, the really great entrepreneurs, they go out and do something completely new that people at the time think is crazy. Like Mark Zuckerberg when he went out and people didn't really believe it. And all of a sudden it becomes commonplace and we realize it's really, really possible and then lots of copycat come around and they do a better job as, as, as a utility for them. But we need those people who just dash into uh, where no one has gone before.